Today is, is really about my career in sports. Um, I've been lucky enough and fortunate enough to have uh, almost 35 years now in the, in the sports business in uh, four markets, um, three leagues, uh, and, and the great fortune of being uh, involved with the Dallas Stars on, on three separate occasions with three different owners. Uh, so I've kind of seen it in its inception. My, my talk tonight will be a, about um, uh, my first 10 years in the business, uh, starting the Detroit Red Wing franchise basically from uh, a bankruptcy situation to hockey town, what it's become. Uh, I moved to Dallas in 93, 10 years after I started in the business, to, to start the franchise here in Dallas with Norm Green. Uh, eventually won the Stanley Cup in 1999. I became president of the Texas Rangers. Uh, and then in my last 10 years, I've um, held various positions, New York Giants, um, Phoenix Coyotes, back to Dallas with the Stars, uh, left to go to the, go to the Giants and, and help the Mara family build the MetLife Center uh, and get that accomplished. And then the last five years, you know, knock on wood, um, the, the great fortune of being back with the Dallas Stars and taking the team back out of bankruptcy that it had been in and, and making it one of the most competitive and, and most successful franchises in the National Hockey League again. So um, I've had this kind of great opportunity that's been presented to me uh, by hooker by crook and kept it going. And I've had this wonderful 22-year career now in, in Dallas in, in various positions uh, and watched the city grow and, and, and watched uh, uh, the sports and particularly the Dallas Stars grow here into an institution in this market. i got a question for you. What, um, when you come into a troubled organization, um, how do you get everybody on board and rowing in the right direction? Uh, you know, that's a, that, that, that's a, it's a bit of a trick, and there, there really isn't a plan. It's not like you go in and say, well, you, you, have, you set goals that are achievable, um, but really it's, it's um, I find myself to be kind of a uh, rooter in chief. Uh, I, I, I'm a herder. I, t I tend to find really, really good people um, and then try to support them uh, in the very best way. I've had the great fortune of having good owners here in Dallas. Uh, uh, Norm Green did a nice job of getting the franchise started, and he was very supportive and a hockey, he had a hockey background. And then Tom Hicks, who didn't have any kind of hockey background, was an unbelievable owner, particularly early in his career, helping us, giving us the resources to be successful. And not because he didn't know the sport very well, he let us handle it and do it so he left it he left the hockey people um, to get it done and gave us the resources to be successful and then in this last iteration after the team had gone down so poorly we've had an unbelievable owner in Tom Gallardi he's a mixture of the two a guy with a hockey background and resources and he is not here but here and he's given me nothing but you know uh, support and the, to do the things we need to do which is hire good people train them um, I'm a very hands-off manager. I tend to um, kind of go from the flower to flower to flower, you know, place to place to place, trying to just create an environment where people feel that they can achieve and be different and be and unique. Um, and then it's all about customer service, support, uh, approach, staying positive, um, and you know, making sure the owner doesn't screw things up by making bad. Uh, on ice decisions for us and um, and making sure that the that the on ice product is really good and if it's good in Dallas Texas if you're good you're going to sell tickets and be successful